Hello and Merry Christmas one and all. I'm Felix Jones and Lego Cheetah and welcome to my Christmas soapbox. I've been having an epic build up to Christmas, including going to London and buying a shizzle load of shizzle, including cider, sweet and a new coat. Have a look at this. Don't say that didn't get you wet. I was also given the chance the other day to do my first ever bit of stand-up comedy. Anyway, uh, loads of jokes to tell, not much time, but as my ex-girlfriend will tell you, I'm a fast worker. <laughs> I think it went really well, especially for my first ever time, and it gave me a lot to take away and learn from. As you may already be able to tell, I'm buzzing for Christmas. I can't wait. I'm so excited that I've gone and spent all of my money and now bankrupt. My camera is going to be repossessed tomorrow, and my water and heating are being switched off today. <laughs> My God! The thing about Christmas these days is it's a totally different system. I mean, when I was young, it seemed that life was so wonderful. A miracle. I mean, it was beautiful, magical. And all the birds and the trees, they'd be singing so happily, oh joyfully, oh playfully watching me. But also when I was young, our parents would always ask us for a Christmas list, and then we would burn it in the fire to send it off to Santa. Looking back, it was actually pretty barbaric. But these days they just flat out ask us for a list, so I write them a list of all the things that I want for Christmas, trying to emphasise that main present that I really want, you know the present. Christmas Day rolls around and the one thing that you know is going to be down there amongst the presents is that one main present that you really, really wanted. You go downstairs, you open your presents, and it's not there. And when you subtly mention this present to your parents, they will justify the lack of this gift with the purchase of that twelfth pair of comedy slippers you didn't ask for. But Christmas just isn't the same anymore. I mean, I grew up getting these great toys, and I used to look over at the adults getting their aftershave and their socks and enjoying them, and I'd think, wow, you people are dead inside. You have no soul. I'm never going to be that old. I now love aftershave and socks. And just before I go, I will now tell you one sophisticated Christmas joke that none of you will enjoy. I was at church recently attending a carol service, and they were doing the nativity scene with loads of dolls and toys that, to represent characters and animals in the nativity scene, and these would be distributed throughout the kids in the crowd in the church. So at the start of the setup of this nativity scene, the first thing the vicar calls out for is the donkey. Okay, so where's the donkey? Donkey, donkey, where's the donkey? Come on, somebody's got the donkey, come on. Come on. Jeff! Jeff? <coughs> Do you know where the do where's the donkey? <coughs> and I leaned over to my brother and said, <laughs> And they call it organised religion. <laughs> <laughs> Saving that one for dinner with the king. So everyone, thanks for watching and Merry Christmas. I hope you all get fantastic presents, but not as good as mine. So here it is, Merry Christmas. The thing is about Christmas these days is that it's a totally different system. I mean, when I was young, it seemed that life was so wonderful. I mean, it was magic. Oh, God. When I was young, it seemed that life was so wonderful. A miracle. Oh, it was beautiful. Magical.